Can a $16 GoPro mount suction cup stand up to have moto wheel travel? We're going to find out on this episode of Motorcycle Confessions. So this is what I tried to use last year uh, on my ride <clears throat> to, to get an unobstructed view. And uh, it's a pretty good mount. It just didn't work on my bike, uh, the Voyager. Uh, basically where I had it mounted was on the mirror wrapped around like this. And while it was sturdy, it was mounted like this, and while it was sturdy, there's just too much vibration away from the center of the bike, particularly on a, uh, an inline four cylinder. They're rather buzzy anyway, just normally. So, <clears throat> um, I still want to get an uh, unobstructed view. And uh, I think in some situations, you have to have it. Zion National Park, perfect. Arches National Park, perfect example. So let's take this baby out and see what it looks like and uh, see how hard it is to mount. This is a Panavice Action Grip, model number is 13101, $16.03. I don't know why the three cents, they must be working on tight margins to go three cents. But $16.03, let's see how bad this thing actually is. So, I've already read the directions. It's really kind of got uh, this type of movement, and uh, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of uh, flexibility. I guess if I used a different kind of mount, I could probably... Uh, actually, I have a mount uh, that'll go in almost any direction. I'll have to try that on there. But let's check this out. So the directions say... Put, I've already put a, a lanyard on here. Uh, I don't want to lose anything, and I don't know how much I can trust this. They got pretty good reviews, but you know, everything is uh, subject to subject. Anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to put this right about, I think, right about here. And it says to press down on this. I think I've got that level. Press down on this. That made this pop up. And now pull this, pull this up. And that should do it. Okay, so let's see. What kind of grip have we got here? How bad does this thing suck? Holy camoly. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty amazing. Wow. That thing's going nowhere. I'm still going to put the lanyard on, though. We'll do this. And that's going to go up here, obviously. Let me get the camera. I think I left the camera over here. Put it on and see what it looks like, guys. Man, that thing is just solid as a rock. You know? Pretty incredible, really. For $16.03. Don't forget the three cents, man. Critical. Let's see here. What do you think? That looks about level. too many motorcycles in my garage here guys but now I can ride them all so that's it we're gonna take a ride and see how that puppy uh, does right where it is I think that that's probably the least uh, least vibration on the bike it's dead center between the opposing cylinders it's kind of right over the shocks and uh, I'm hoping for the best we'll see Anyway, that's it for right now. There's sometimes, like when I was in Zion National Park, uh, I wish I had mounted the uh, camera right on the front of the bike so that there wasn't anything in the way. Those views were too beautiful to... Uh, to um, uh, I should have at least had both cameras going. Because it's still interesting to see the bike in some of the shots, you know, when you're going around um, hairpin turns, switchbacks, 
but uh, I would also have liked to have just un un unobstructed uh, video of the uh, of Zion and uh, you know other places, Arches National Park, and you know, all those things that I did out in Utah. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cut this off. And yeah, maybe I'll get on later. I don't know. I'm really wanting to look at uh, the video that comes from that thing mounted on the front. Uh, whether with the uh, stabilization it's uh, a solid enough picture or if I should just get forget a front mount. I know on the Voyager I mounted uh, a, uh, that camera on my, um, on my mirror. And uh, just the, the vibration uh, that came through the mirror was just way too... Uh, intense. I, it had to be, uh, it had to be stabilized, uh, with software and, and that always looks a little bit hinky, you know? So I just wanted to see if, if on the gold wing this was smooth, smooth enough to actually, uh, fit it on the, uh, front. I'm amazed at that suction cup, man. It doesn't budge. I, I mean, if you just tried to yank it off, I think you, I think you'd probably break something in the windshield. That's how tight it seems to be on there. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm going to shut my GoPro off. And, uh, yep, that's gone. And uh, I'll just leave that. I wanted to get a little fresh air here, so I was going to flip this up. And it really doesn't make uh, a lot of sense to uh, have the camera running. Unless you want a pretty shot of the sky. It's a nice blue today, but other than that, the sky and the clouds is all I'd be getting. What a nice day. A little bit on the warm side today. I can't see my display because my Android... Oh, I could, actually. My Android has the temperature. My Android screen. I'm going to shut that... I'm going to shut that off, too. Adios, as they say, or as I say, over and out. Well, I'm back at the house, guys, and uh, I've gone through these clips and pulled out some samples for you to look at. I wanted to see how the uh, grip worked uh, in an acceleration from stop up to just back road speeds, you know, 45, 50 miles an hour. And as you can see, there's not much vibration there, if any at all. Pretty happy with that. Next thing I wanted to look at was what kind of vibration I got at uh, um, highway speeds or back road highway speeds, you know, 55, 65 miles an hour in a, on a road with some imperfections. And you can see that this particular road has got a lot of uh, um, grooves in it and bumps in it. And really, there's little or no vibration. And then the next thing that I wanted to look at was what it looked like um, accelerating onto the highway. Um, that can sometimes cause a lot of vibrations. Now, I didn't get much here. You'll see going onto the highway. I don't really think that this was hard acceleration, just normal acceleration. Uh, I had the truck in front of me, so here we go. Take a look at this. Again, I don't see much vibration under acceleration, and this was just accelerating up to uh, cruising speed here. But uh, again, I don't see much, if any, which is, uh, I'm not really sure that it's uh, the mounting point, if it's the lack of vibration in the, on the bike in general. I think that does have a lot to do with it. But I think it's a pretty solid mount in a pretty solid spot. The last thing that I wanted to look at was cruising at 75, 80 miles an hour and uh, what kind of vibration I got there. And as you can see, again, almost zero, uh, if any and uh, be hard pressed to say that this is not worth the investment at $16.03. It gets the Have Moto Will Travel stamp of approval. And uh, I think that's it for now, guys. This mount sucks. Go out and get one. That's it for this edition of uh, Motorcycle Confessions. Over and out. <laughs>